All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at our math for today. So um, you can go ahead and cross out the wrap up unless you decided to cut out that paper where it had um, four on one side and then it had um, all the answers that you went across and you did. If you cut that out and you decided to use a string or yarn, you could go ahead and try to do that and fill this in here. Um, but if you didn't, that's fine. Just cross that out. You guys are definitely getting a lot of fact practice since we do one of these almost every day. And then we do the oral one too. So if you have it, you can do it. If you don't, not necessary. So we're looking in our packet at uh, 101A and all you're going to be doing is your fours and you're going to be timed for this one. Okay. So I'm not going to do the page with you. We're going to review really quickly how to do the multiplication. And if you need to check your work, um, remember the the week two packet had um, information on this in it. If you still have it and you want to correct your answers by looking at that page that had um, four times zero, four times one, four times two, all in a row. Otherwise, I believe you might have this information in your um, Saxon math folder. There might be a multiplication table on there too. Otherwise, you can just um, Google it on your iPad, multiplication table, and then you'll find a table that has all the answers that you need. But please make sure that you're timed for this one. We'll go over a couple just so we can remind you what multiplication is. So we have four times four. We're going to count by four, four times, and then Whatever number we get to is going to be our answer. So I have 4, 8, 12, 16. 16 is my answer. And then I have 4 times 8. I'm going to do the same thing. I know already, if I'm counting by 4s, that 4 4s is 16. 16. So I actually don't have to start from 0 because I just did that one. Now, there are a couple of strategies I could use here to get my answer. Think about what those are. I'm thinking of three. Remember to pause the video if you need some time to think. First, I can just keep counting and have four eights. So I've got 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. There we go. Another strategy I can use is, look, this is a four and this is an eight. This is half of this one. So what does that mean I can do with my answer to this to get my answer to that? double it, right? So I could do 16 plus 16, and that will give me the same answer of 32. What about, there's one more strategy that you can use if you know your twos. What is that strategy? I can do the same kind of doubling thing, right? So if I know, we're still talking about this one here, right? So if I know that two times eight gives me 16. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take 16 plus 16. And that's, ooh, sorry. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. All right. So I just did the same thing basically that I did here, but it was for a different reason. So I had two times eight gives me 16. If I double that, that'll give me four times eight. For this one, I did four times four was half of, the four was half of eight. So I took that and I doubled it to get my answer. Or I just continued counting by fours. If you said count by eight four times, that's another way to get it too. So use whichever strategy works best for you. Maybe you're really good at your twos and so doubling the answer for the two is the best way for you to do it right now. Um, the best thing to do would be to definitely memorize it so you can be quick, but it's important that we can see these concepts here and we can relate these to the things that we already know. All right, lucky you guys, you only have one more math paper today.